Hi guys, I got a really cool one for you. The Olive Oysterling. There's a smaller example. These prefer oak or beech, dead and dying. You find these usually right after the killing frost. If you're finding them much before that, then you're probably not finding the late fall oyster. The reason they call it the olive oysterling is because when it's small, usually the outer margin of it, that one's gone, the outer margin of it is olive, but it can be purple, it can be dark gray. It's a very striking mushroom. And from the margin in, it usually fades lighter until it gets older, at which point the mushroom will be more of a dark flesh color. They're usually stemless. That is the stem right here. The gills are crowded. And when you turn it and flash it, you'll see this yellow flashing in the gills. The spore print on this is yellow. Now sometimes they can be bitter. So what I do is I do a flake, taste, chew, and spit test each time I find these. If they're bitter where I pick them, they're going to be bitter in the skillet. But I don't find them bitter too often. Now it is a thick mushroom. There's a lot of meat in here, a lot of fluid in here. So you're going to want to cook it, slice it thin, and cook it on low heat for quite a while before you add it to your dishes or casseroles or whatever it is you're going to make with it. A yellow spore print. It looks fuzzy. It isn't. It isn't sticky, but it feels rubbery to the touch. It's a cold weather mushroom that can be found in the winter months and even picked in the snow. The margin is usually purple to green, fading to a beautiful skin color and yellow. No stem. The olive oysterling. Let's go see what else we can find.